you know how crazy this election is? We got one candidate that says that we ought to abolish Medicaid and Medicare. You ever heard of anything so crazy as that? Telling our, our people in this country who are seniors or about to be seniors that we're going to abolish Medicaid and Medicare? We got one person saying we ought to have a 10% flat tax that will drive up the, the deficit in this country by trillions of dollars that my daughters will spend the rest of their lives having to pay off. One candidate that actually said that the reason why we signed an agreement with Ford to bring jobs back from Mexico is because he's been yelling for the last week. We got one guy that says we ought to take 10 or 11 million people and pick them up. We're the, I don't know where we're going to go in their homes, their apartments. We're going to pick them up and we're going to take them to the border and scream at them to get out of our country. And that's just, that's just crazy. We got people proposing health care reform that's going to leave, I believe, millions of people without adequate health insurance. One, one of the candidates says he's known as a veto Corleone. He's so proud of the fact that he vetoes everything. You know what vetoes are? Vetoes are a sign you can't get what you want. I have to veto some legislation, but by and large, we try to work together to solve problems. We better be careful that we don't turn this country over to somebody who's not capable of running it. Look at where Ohio is today compared to where it just was a, a few years ago. Now we're doing terrific. We still have our challenges. It's not over yet, but we work together. We need a leader that has vision, a leader that has courage, a leader that has a backbone, and a leader that has faith in a higher power, namely the Lord himself. So thank you. I want to thank all of you for being here today. And we're off to Colorado. Thank you all very much. God bless.